All right, hello everybody and welcome. It is Tuesday night and time for Knockdown. I see we got the likes of Dezen Hall, Silent Hero is here, so is Lexi. I want to welcome you all in. Whether you're watching and chatting it up live, laying back, lurking, or maybe, just maybe, watching this on YouTube. No matter how you're doing it, I'm glad you're uh, watching, doing the thing, all that type of stuff. I'm glad you're here. So, here's the deal. Here's the deal now. This past weekend was Showdown. It was the last big event, the final showdown, as it were, before SGC, which is the final show of the season, the biggest show of the season. And then after that, we go into the new season, new game, blah, 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 blah. Which, the new season is hopefully going to be a good one once uh, I get everything and everybody's stuff together here in the coming weeks. Which, if you have not seen, I don't have a actual link. To it, but I definitely can get it right here in a second. Watch. I'll find it. All right, I'm going to put a link in the chat. And it didn't go. God damn it. Hang on. Yeah, cat. All right, now, I'm going to put a link in the chat. It is to a video. All right. That video right there that I just sent is the call out for creation of titles that I put out just the other day. To let everybody know... That time is almost up. I need your... I need your superstars. I need your titles. And I even gave a... Dubai date in it for the titles and everything. That date is July 14th. That's right. Okay, July 14th, that's right, like a m almost a month from now, I watched and any of those titles I made can be renamed. Well, I thank you very much for that, which you never know, I might do. I might maybe uh, repurpose some, um, <clears throat> but you never know. You never know what I might have to do. But either way... Either way, July 14th is the final day to get your titles and characters in if you want your character to be there on day one. 
All right. Obviously, like every year, I will be taking characters and bringing them in throughout the year. I've done it all the time. Still going to do it. So, like Silent Hero is saying, it's like three days before the Wyatt DLC. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Silent Hero, he has uh, plans and such for characters uh, that he wants to make, but it takes certain DLC, right? So maybe you're one of those people like Silent Hero? You never know. And you got an idea for a character. You can still give me that character and let me know and say, hey, they uploaded, they there, and I will get them and they can still be in. No big deal. Basically, the July 14th is the deadline to be there day one. And for the titles, mainly, to be there. And for them to be, uh, you know, like the titles to be fought over. And one of them to be inserted as the singles title type thing. Right? That's what that deadline is for. Because, you know, you got to have a deadline. Or else... I might not be able to start the season because... I won't have enough characters in the universe mode to start. Which, yes, is a thing. So, everybody be hopefully aware of that. If you've seen it somewhere on social media, be sure to spread the word. I know there's uh, somewhere else I gotta spread the word on all of that here soon. So, hopefully we can get uh, some more characters in as the days and weeks roll by. Now... There obviously is something y'all need to know as well, since this is technically the last weeks of the 2K22 season. All right. Be prepared to possibly see a bunch of people in maybe some weird matches or whatever that might make no sense or totally make sense or whatever, because... Since it, these are the last shows, the last time in 2K22, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little checklist and everybody on the roster before SGC, I do this like every year and this year's no different, is going to have one last match. All right, so there might be uh, a team or a character we haven't seen in a while for various reasons. They will have one last match, all right? Just to showcase them and get them out there um, before the next season begins, and we go on with that. Now, obviously... Uh, we've got the rivalries that are uh, up and going to happen, which, well, uh, there's at least two that are happening that shouldn't technically need no introduction. But before we get there, we should probably go over the news of all the stuff that went down at Showdown. Okay. Because... It was just that. It was a showdown, to say the least. So, let's go ahead. Let's start with uh, non-title stuff. All right. Um, we, let's start with the, basically, the Rumble runoff um, stuff. Okay? The stuff that's been going on since the Rumble. All right? Like... Uh, the matches between the rivalry between McGregor and Rose. All right. 
Uh, we saw what happened at Showdown. McGregor won the big match against Rose. And McGregor proved herself the better fighter and so on and so forth. But Rose had a good showing and definitely showed why she lasted as long as she did in the Rumble. And hopefully after that match, regardless of who won or who lost, everything ends amicably between them moving forward. Now, also from the Rumble, we have uh, these two women, Deranged and Shelby. All right, where we saw that the darkness had a strong hold that night where Deranged took out Shelby. Now, obviously, the crowd was disappointed that Deranged won, but them's the breaks, unfortunately. And speaking of darkness having a hold and stuff going on from the Rumble, Lexi and Kanan. All right. Started off the night at Showdown, and what a match it was. The crowd was disappointed that Kanan could not save her friend. And darkness overcame the power, so-called friendship. And we'll just have to see what that victory and what that loss has wrought. Now, other than that, we have uh, this that ongoing rivalry between the likes of Reset Patrick and that Paragon, that upstanding man of justice known as Jake. And well, we saw all the machinations and everything fall into place at Showdown for Reset Patrick, where... No matter what happened, Patrick was going to win. But ultimately, Patrick won the match. The crowd wasn't happy to see Jake break and fall to where he was. But that's kind of Patrick's MO, isn't it? He got what he wanted. He got the win. He broke this man and... Stands tall in the end, making himself look better for it. All right, now. Let's move on to the titles. All right, how about we go with specifically the title? Here on Knockdown, that's right, the Knockdown Nut title, where we saw the core pirate put down good money for a good match to be had. That match was a ladder match where we saw not only a good ladder match, but the core pirate paying money for an assassin to come out to try and ensure that Short Bus Eric would not walk out still the Knockdown Nut Champion. And unfortunately, it worked. Exactly how the Core Pirate wanted it to. Because Eric lost, Pierce did his job, didn't get the title. No, the title was grabbed by none other than the core pirate. And I'm sure Eric ain't too happy about that. I know I'm not. 
because, well, reasons. <laughs> All right, and other than that, we have the FAB title. That's right, that fabulous women's title that was brought in by the great Akira and walked out by the great Akira as well. She went to war with Yamashita that night, but came out the victor and defended the FAB championship. Now, this matchup showed how heated both rivals and the rivalry over all has been, but that night, the champion, the great Akira, stood tall with the gold. All right. Then, of course, let's not forget the women's world title match. Remember that? Main event of the night between Lizzie and Nekosal. Now... Neko Sal won, but it was a good match thrown together there, so that's good. That's good. And then, of course, we got the men's GFW World Heavyweight Championship match where Woody came out to defend his title and hopefully, possibly looking to not be punished by Silent the Punisher hero. But it was not to be because Silent Hero ended up taking the victory in that match and took the title from Woody to become the GFW World Heavyweight Champion who will obviously now head on to SGC. And I saw what you said uh, earlier, Lexi, about you worried about me and such, but you ain't got to worry about me, all right? He's technically the one that has to be worried. All right? But... We'll get to that. And also, tonight... It'll be after the show is done, but I think since we're almost to the end of the season and we haven't done it in a while, we need to look at those alternate timelines. You know, for fun. But obviously, I've already put out who all was in action tonight. All the matches look relatively normal. Some good one-on-one -on -one match affair. So what do you say? We go ahead and we start this show. It is Tuesday night. That means it's time for Knockdown and the last big show, the Showdown Show. One of the final of the season is behind us as we now trek forward to the future and possibly a big ending, but we are here live tonight in Springford, Springfield, Illinois. So hold on. It's coming at you right now.
In before the Simpsons? What? All right. The Simpsons are based in Springfield. I know, but <laughs> it seems weird. All right, first match is loading up. First match of the night. It's a women's match. As so we've got Kiara Serrato versus Cassidy. And no, it's not. <laughs> Why would it be you and Kelly? Just because I put you and Kelly and some people at the beginning of the tweet does not always mean. You'll be the first feature. <laughs> it's just the first people that show up on my list of people. <laughs> we are first to the table. Yeah. Oh, man. That's funny, though. Besides, why would it matter? You won, Lexi. You ain't got to worry about Kanan anymore. All right, here we go. First match. All right, welcome to Knocked Out, everybody. Here we go. First match of the night, women's matches. Look who comes out now. It's Kiara Serrato. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Savage Girl Dynamite. Now, for her opponent, here comes Cassidy.
The fight has started, and Serrato taking down Cassidy. Now grabbing that arm, I got to say. <clears throat> I'm still feeling it a little from this past weekend in Showdown, and I'd, ha I'd have to wonder if a lot of our superstars are as well. I know a lot of them are pitted to be here tonight after possibly having a rough weekend. I know, I know the women's champ is here who I'm sure is thrilled about her winning and holding on the title. As now, oh, Cassidy, come on. And obviously there's so much more in store we have tonight. Lots of stuff brewing, I'm sure, that we will see and have to see how it plays out. As, oh my God, through. The ropes into the pole goes Cassidy. As if you do not know, if, if you do not know. With showdown done, is it, wait a minute, what's Sierra doing over in the corner? Oh! Big hit into a cover, one. Two, no! Not yet. Is now Serrato paying a little respect after that. And now she climbs up to the top. Off she goes, big splash, but Cassidy gets those D's up. Big clubbing punch, and now with the face. Oh, man. Serrato up and oh, nicely done. Serrato now spin. Oh, kick connects. Cassidy is down. Three, that does it. Kiara Serrato with a win here tonight. Oh, knockdown to start us off. As we now look at the replays here from what I am sure is to be a action packed night tonight on Knockdown. Here is your winner, the Savage Girl Dynamite. Kiara Serrato with a win here tonight, but stay tuned. We've got plenty more to come up next on Knockdown. All right, first match wasn't half bad, if I do say so, but now we move on to the next match.
All right, next match. Ready to go as we've got Sean Bolin versus Blade. All right, welcome back to Knockdown. Up next. We've got a member of the crew. That's right, the Hangtime crew coming out. It is the super athlete himself, Sean Bolin. Making his way to the ring, representing the crew from Texas. Weighing in at 235 pounds, the super athlete, Sean Kelly. All right, now for his opponent. Looking to be a cut above the rest. Here comes Blade. And his opponent representing the Blade Runners from Manchester, England. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Blade! All right, the um. All right, I guess Grayson gonna come out here, back up his um partner as Blade. Oh no, gets his hands on Bolin. Once we finally get into the action here. You have to wonder if uh, Blade takes uh, uh, some offense to something like that. I mean, technically, Blade, he has a partner himself, the Surgeon. But, I mean, you don't see the Surgeon out here, but, I mean, heck, this is what the crew does. This is what Hangtime does. They got each other's back, you know? They're a crew. Right? So now Bolin, oh, with Blade putting him down off the ropes. Wow! Flying through the air, grabbing the leg. Two, only two, though. Bolin hopping up top rope. Watch out, Blade. Here he comes from the top. Oh, but that's a big, unfortunate miss for Bolin. Blade taking full advantage of it. Now just having his way with him, going for a pin, but Bolin immediately kicks out. Excellent awareness, ring awareness here. So Blade gonna have to Keep it up with the assault, but no. Bolin strikes back, but can't come back into the ring unscathed. As, oh, Bolin lands on his feet. Now from behind. Oh, drops him right on his back. Bolin kicks, punches left, right. Ah, oh, there it is. Down he goes as Bolin on the outskirts from the outside to the inside. He goes. Bolin going to do it again. Oh, wait, no. He's waiting for him to get up. He's waiting for him to get up. And forearm to the face from the outside. Blade is down. Is he out? Three. Oh, almost a three count. Bolin could have swore it was the three count. Is Oh, my God. 
The blood has been spilled and Bolin taking advantage. Hitting, stomping, and now with the knee, but no, the knee misses. Blade is up. Blade's got to be running on an instinct at this point. He's got to be hurting. He's bleeding, so you know he's hurting. Got him grabbing him by the neck. Bolin, oh my goodness. All the way across the ring with that. But Bolin catching that incoming kick. Down he goes. Bolin, uh-oh, in the corner. Might have been a mistake. Oh, Blade. Taking care of the hot dog and Bolin in the corner. As now, submission locked in. Bolin able to get out of it. Kicks and punches incoming. Drop kick to put Blade down. Bolin here in the grips of Blade. Blade once again scooping him up on the shoulders. Where's he bringing him? Uh-oh. Over here to the ropes. Oh, right in front of his partner who's out there on the outskirts who hasn't done anything, thank goodness. Able to keep this match going fair and square. Moving him away from the ropes. Smart move by Blade as he goes for the cover, but again, a kick out by Bolin, but Bolin, oh, quickly up, grabbing him, rolling him through, grabbing the leg, but that's a rope break, the other leg under the ropes. Bolin just gonna try for a pin now. And only gonna get a two. Bolin here on the outskirts of the pin once again waiting off the ropes and oh that's a miss Blade saw it coming this time Blade big spine buster goes for the cover and the kick out at two unfortunately Blade now taking Advantage of the situation. Not letting Bolin out of his grip from all of this. Definitely cutting him down. Bit by bit here so far. But Bolin able to counter. Match ain't over yet. Kick right to the spine. Bolin, uh-oh. Uh-oh, on the outside of the ring again. Will the third time be the charm? And no, he falls short. But he's able to get up, but now they're just going back and forth. But Bolin, here, pump handle. Oh, gut buster. Bolin going outside again. Gonna try again. And, oh, he gets it this time. Oh, the blood is pouring from the face as the cover is had. Three, that does it. As we now look at the replays from this incredible match here tonight on knockdown between these two thankfully that man on the outside did not get involved no shenanigans had here tonight though i'm sure it played heavy on blade's mind winner, but either way sean there's the winner Kelly. sean bolin with the win here tonight on knockdown as we'll be back with more next
All right. Nice little match. All right, here we go. Next match, load it up. We've got Shelby versus Tiffany Townsend. All right, welcome back to Knockdown. If we have had quite a bit of action here tonight, as hey, look who we got coming out here now. It's Shelby set for one on one action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Elysian Fields. Now for her opponent, here she comes. And from Memphis, Tennessee, TNT, Tiffany Nicole Townsend. That's right, it's Miss TNT. She's dynamite, Tiffany Nicole Townsend. Shelly off to the races, maybe looking to redeem herself after that unfortunate loss last weekend, or well, this past weekend, last weekend, what's wrong with me? I swear, time just seems to fly by anymore. At Showdown with her match against deranged unfortunately the darkness was too much for probably anybody that night as now shelby with tiffany bringing her over here to the ropes as i gotta say tiffany this season has had quite a season coming out here making her debut and doing so, so much. Don't think uh, she never quite rose to the heights of champion. But oh my God, Shelby showing you possibly why. But there we go. Townsend kicks her away as she's going to try and hot dog it up in the corner. But Shelby sees this opportunity, goes full steam ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 
But Tiffany back in it, fighting back, trying for a cover now. Only able to get a one count from that. Match will continue on. As now, oh, look at this, flipping her over. That's a submission right there. But look at that. Shelby able to get out of that. But still, damage probably done. Nice duck of that chop. <laughs> Tiffany with the open palm strikes raining down on Shelby. As Tiffany here looking a little full of herself. And now up and oh, ripping it up with that knee right in the jaw with a cover right after. But no. Off the ropes and big dynamite kick to the back of the skull. That's a cover, but her arm goes under the ropes for a rope break. And oh, nice block by Shelby. Who now turns it right around, shoulders are down. Shelby, oh, with a near fall. And the people here tonight loving everything that they're seeing in the last couple of matches. This one no different. It's look at her roll through, picking up Townsend. Shelby now climbing up top. Here we go, and nobody home. Townsend scooping her up, bam, smashing her in the corner. Got to say, this has been a crazy match, incredible back and forth, but with that dynamite explosive spin kick, it might be over. Three, that is it. Tiffany Townsend with a win, maybe. Shelby should not have shown up tonight after the weekend she had. As Townsend gets the win, and as you can see, yeah, I think it's might just be it as Rufro. Shelby not happy with the outcome. That's the way it goes sometime, unfortunately. We'll be back with more next here on Knockdown. All right, next match. Load it up. What do we got? We got Clay versus Stafford. All right, welcome back to Knockdown. We have had quite a show tonight, but now look who we got coming out, walking alone to the ring. It's Clay.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 175 pounds, the champ, C. And now, here comes his opponent, probably somebody just as chaotic as Clay. Here comes the anarchist, Vincent Stafford. And his opponent from the wasteland, weighing in at 275 pounds, the anarchist, Vincent Stafford. All right, bell has rung. We are underway with what is bound to be. Pure insanity in match form, I guess. As Stavern and Clay go at it here tonight in this exhibition match. As I gotta say, this year, Unlike most years and seasons, as we are here in the next couple weeks upon weeks, still some, some time left, so maybe I shouldn't say anything. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I might be pretty safe. I think this year, Clay has probably been the most Calm, I guess you could say, is not been as crazy as he has been in the past years, which I, I guess is a good thing. It's a good thing. And I mean, we've obviously this year we've seen Stafford get up to uh, some shenanigans, but you know, either way. That's in the past. And right now we got a big match and a big splash out of the corner from Stafford. And now, ooh! Stafford looks to be in control. Oh, 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 gonna, is he gonna roll him over? Oh, he's got him! That's a submission locked in right there. Not really many places for Clay to go. Can he hold out? Oh, wait a minute. There it is, Clay. Turn it around into a cover. But Clay trying to follow up with a kick. Stafford catches it, hold of it. Clay running full steam ahead at him, but Stafford stops him in his tracks. And now they're on the outskirts of the ring here. On the side of the ring, and Clay, all oh, spine first. 
We're now on the floor on the outside. We knew this match was gonna get crazy and it shows right here. And oh, blocking the uppercut, but unable to block these. Stafford now from behind with Clay. Oh, across the knee he goes. Right onto his spine. And now, uh oh, again, grabbing him, hoisting him up. And boom! Spine meets the knee of Stafford. Is now Stafford grabbing Clay. Going to go ahead and bring this back into the ring. And uh oh. Uh oh. I think it's time for anarchy to reign here tonight on Knockdown. He got him. But now smart, real smart, moving him away from the ropes. Grabs the leg. This could do it. Three. That does it. Vincent Stafford with the win. All right, we're looking at the replays here from this match. I got to say, Clay obviously showing here tonight. He had quite a few tricks in him, but unfortunately, Stafford out muscling him, I guess you could say, here tonight on knockdown and able to get the win. Here is your winner, the anarchist, Vincent Stafford. All right, there you have it, but stay tuned. We've got more up next tonight on Knockdown. All right, next match, load it up. Here we go, it is women's match with Cyber White Tiger versus Large Marge. All right, welcome back to Knockdown. And hey, look who we got coming out here now next. It's Cyber White Tiger. The is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the internet. C. White Tiger. All right, as apparently Cassidy has some problems with Cyber White Tiger. I don't think we're going to get a match, anybody. 
I mean, we just saw Cassidy out here earlier. So it seems, I guess, Cassidy wants two fights in one night. I, I don't know why, but Cyber White Tiger standing up. I mean, she's already coming out here for a fight, so I, she's happy to oblige, it seems. Though this technically isn't a sanctioned match. It'd be nice if the official could break this up, maybe. Maybe get some security down here. I mean, we do technically have other matches we could be getting to. But no, apparently Cassidy has something to prove here tonight against Cyber White Tiger. And oh! But enough of this, we'll be right back. All right. D didn't didn't expect that. Cuz I know I sure as did hell didn't set that up. <laughs> I mean she was already out here. She lost for crying out loud. Oh, whatever. 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 Whatever game. It's weird. Alright, there we go. And the next match is loaded up, ready to go. As this might be a big match because we've got a new champion coming out here tonight. Don't worry, 2K23 Shingan gets her just as bad. Oh, oh, I hope. I hope. It'll be interesting to see the shenanigans we can get into with that game once we're finally there. But for now, we've got this match with our new Knockdown Nut Champion, the Core Pirate versus Gage Parcher. Oh, yeah. All right, we are back Here, comes the money. here on Knockdown. As look who we got coming out here. You're not. No. What is this? I. It's Eric from behind. I knew. I knew I had a feeling. It wasn't over. You can't keep Eric down and away from the knockdown title. Eric is out here and he looks very, very upset at what happened this past weekend. And now look at him just go off on the core pirate. And now throwing him downrange right past the title. 
As now, wait a minute, what is he doing? He's throwing him again. Oh, into the referee, but now the core pirate throwing him. That might have been a mistake. Eric out here trying to make a statement against the core pirate who basically bought and paid for the ability to get a match to take the title from Eric. But Eric, having none of that, Is now Eric going back down the rampway. Trying to think about getting a hold of that title, but the core pirate trying to bolster himself in the ring but Eric saying no oh down he goes and oh another shot from Eric as now we gotta go we gotta break this up we'll be right back So in a way, he kind of cheated? Yeah, Lexi, you are correct. He, in a way, kind of cheated. All right, so now we go ahead. I guess we move on to the next real match. The next match, it's a women's match. It's loaded up. As we've got Lauren versus Ashley. And I'm sorry for taking control of that last match. I wanted to see if I could get Eric to go back and uh, pick up the title and use it against the core pirate, but it wouldn't let me, so I just went in there and, you know, well, you saw what happened. Because, obviously, that was supposed to be what happens anyway, so. I was just trying to go for the flow, trying to make it add a little bit of something extra Give it that je ne sais quoi. Alright, anyway. Women's match, Lauren versus Ashley. All right, things starting to get kind of crazy here tonight on Knockdown. 
But now, we got our next match, a little exhibition match. Look out! It's Lauren! Now for her opponent, here she comes. All right, it's Ashley. And from Long Island, New York, awesome, Ashley Morgan. All right, hopefully uh, we can have ourselves a good match. The last two instances ain't been, ain't been all that well. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, last women's match, we had Cassidy come out here for some reason, and apparently she was just mad. She was upset, I guess, at what happened between her and her first match and that I guess had to take that out on somebody and that somebody unfortunately was Cyber White Tiger and then last match obviously it shouldn't have been that much of a surprise to see the knockdown champion out here tonight the core pirate who was then immediately attacked by the likes of Eric who was to say the least cheated out of his title at showdown we saw exactly what money can get you as oh nice dodge but no Ashley able to completely follow through with some incredible acrobatics is that oh got her got Lauren by the hair is oh wind up and BAM right in the face Ashley here showing no quarter whatsoever is now a big quick slap Lauren on the ropes now Irish note turned around oh oh Ashley showing Lauren a thing or two who had her uh, debut this year and oh hits her with the princess Kick, two, three, that does it. As now, we got this match and look at Lauren. Outstretch your hand saying, good job, God, I'd love to see it. But unfortunately, I think this is a one and done because I feel cold. I feel like something wicked this way is about to come. The darkness is about to descend upon us. So stay tuned. No, my cat was on the fucking keyboard.
It wasn't me, it was the cat. The keyboard's over there, the cat decided to lay down over there. Alright, this next match, probably the beginning of something big, to say the least. As now, here it is. Deranged versus Lexi. All right, welcome back, Knockdown and Things have taken a turn here tonight. Gotten darker and darker as the night has went on, and we see why, because look who's coming out now. For one-on-one -on -one action, it's D. Ray. The contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the other side of darkness. The Destroyer, D. Ray. All right, but it's not over. We've got darkness squared here tonight because D-Range is going to be taking on somebody she's had a slight run in with in the past. That's right, it's Lexi. Wait, wait a minute, who's that? Coming, who's that in the smoke there? Is that? From Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Wait, Lex is that that's C Kel that's Kanan? What happened to Kanan? She's following diligently behind Lexi. We saw her win at Showdown, and apparently the darkness has infected. Kanan as well, and coming out alongside Lexi. Look at her as she stands diligently in the rampway.
All right. What a way to show up here tonight. Apparently, Lexi has made a disciple of darkness out of Canaan. As we saw last night, Lexi and Canaan go through war. And Lexi and the power of darkness won, but the thing is, the same thing happened. Almost right after Lexi's win, deranged also won. So now we got two big winners at Showdown here facing off tonight on Knockdown as, oh, okay, deranged. Oh my God, Lexi, what in the world? As now you saw Kelly, look at her just staring. Patiently, diligently at what is going on. As now these two having it out here on the outside of the ring. As Lexi has taken to this darkness power like a fish to water, to say the least. As now, oh my God, Lexi! Putting body on the line as she has already sold her soul at this point. That'll obviously reset the, the count. But at what cost? And now the knees right into the side of the head of Deranged. As now, oh, there we go, there's a counter. But Deranged not able to hold on as now Lexi running back in and back out to reset the count to can continue this brawl on the outside as now Deranged grabbing Lexi when she comes out to throw her back inside. She rolls in, but Lexi immediately gets back to her feet, grabs her, and nails her with some knees. And now stomp after stomp after stomp on the hand. As now things ain't looking good for deranged here. As forever she has been I guess you could say the matriarch, the main woman that has surrounded herself with darkness, but that is no more as Lexi is here and taking to it and taking the fight to deranged. Will not give deranged a moment of rest, a moment of time to think or plan, or anything. Which is very, very intelligent, very smart thing to do as she now goes for the cover. Three, and Lexi's done it! Lexi has defeated d range here tonight on Knockdown. Is that, oh, wait a minute. d range is up, and no! No, Lexi saying, no, you get out of here. The spotlight, the darkness is mine. The power is mine. As we'll be back with the main event next on Knockdown.
All right. That means the main event is loading is. <laughs> Things are unraveling here on Knockdown. Being set into place for the days and the weeks to come. Hope you all are excited about what you see because up next, if you can't guess what's I'm sure bound to happen, where you been? <laughs> because up next for the main event, we've got a champion. That's right. And not just any champion, the women's champion. That's right. Neko Cell is here, the GFW Women's Champion. Going to be going one on one with the lovely Lily. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's what you wanted. Obviously, we know where that's going, but where's this going, right? Where's this going? Let's see. All right, welcome back, and it is main event time here tonight on Knockdown. Is look who we got coming out now. It is the GFW World Women's Champion, Neko Cell. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the iconic duo from Mexico City, Mexico, the women's world champion, Nick <laughs> Osa. All right, now for her opponent, here they come. Look out for Lily. From the internet, Miss Lillian, the webmaster. go and look at Neko Sal go. I mean, we saw what she did at Showdown defending her title against I will say a very good match against Lizzie, but well Neko Sal, not somebody you want to trifle with, which we have seen here over the various seasons here in this wonderful company. 
And this is one of those times as well. But right now, it looks to be going Lily's way at the moment. But oh, quick elbow. And Nekosel quickly turns it right back around for her. And look at this standing moonsault in the center of the ring like it's nothing. Showing us some of the best form and acrobatics that Mexican wrestling has as she goes for a cover, but it's still too early. Still a little bit too early, but hey, you gotta have a little bit of confidence, a little bit of uh, swagger if you are the champ to think you can win. As now, oh, Lex looks like Lily. No, Lily. Oh, right into the face. Looks like. Oh, I think, no, wait, oh, wait, is that, that's Mindy, Mindy out here, throwing Neko Cell back into the ring after it looked like Neko Cell was trying to peace out, but Neko Cell back into the ring, back, fighting and up, off the ropes, out of the corner, down goes Lily. As now, if you do not know, Unless something catastrophic, crazy happens. Mindy, as a cover and only a two count, Mindy will be the opponent for Nekosal at the final season ender event here in the GFW known as SGC. So I guess it's not surprising to see Mindy out here being involved, keeping an eye on the likes of Nekosel. Is now off the ropes, goes Lily, and oh, that's a reality check right there into a cover. Two, and that's a rope. Grab, she grabbed the rope. The ref didn't see it. But a win is a win. As a Lally, Lily, Lillian, the winner. albeit with a little bit of doubt, with that rope grab, Lily gets the win here tonight in the main event of Knockdown. As we'll see you Thursday for Throwdown.